Okay, good morning. I am in my car right now. I'm about to go into Woolies and uh, pick up a couple of things. You might note that I sound very nasally and congestion-y. Um, from my last vlog, you will know if you watch my content that I am sick and it's been two days later and I still feel sick, still feel like crap, okay? <laughs> Uh, but, uh, for the most part, body aches and all those kinds of things are gone. My hair is a tip. Please, let's not judge my hair right now. I'm trying to grow it out. But I think I'm going to do something about it. I'm really tired of, of it now. But anyway, um, so I've got a couple of errands to run. Normally, every, uh, week, I go into the Woolies and I pick up a couple of things. You guys know this. There's nothing new here. But because I was really sick on Sunday, I decided to sleep it off. And oops, I almost dropped my phone. I decided to sleep it off and not do um, my weekly shop. Um, so I'm going to do it now. Today's Tuesday. And it is 11.12. Oh, just missed the 11.11. 11. Just missed it. Just missed it. Um, but I'm manifesting anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go into Woolies now. And then we are going to go to Mr. Price. There's a Mr. Price that opened not too far from where I live. Um, because I'm out of my candles. The candles that I normally burn at night. And then, yeah, nothing crazy. Going to go back home. I feel like having a fruit breakfast today. Um, because my appetite is just shite. It really is. Especially when I'm sick, a lot of the time, I barely just don't want to, I just don't want to eat. Uh, but fruits often open up my appetite quite a bit. That's why it, in hospitals, they give you fruits and stuff. So anyway, let's go into the Woolies. I got my bags. I made sure I don't forget them this time around because, wow, CC. Got my bags. Let's go in. Let's do it. Right.
So I'm home. That's my machine. Let me pause it for a second. So I paused the washing machine for a second so that I could do this really miniature grocery haul. This is like a weekly thing. Uh, you guys know this stuff, most of it. Um, so it's going to be a quick one. I'm very nasally. I haven't taken my meds. It's already, I haven't eaten. It's already 20 past 12. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and move quickly with this. What's never new in my grocery hauls is this. Um, and it's it's because it's who I am. You know, it's who I am. It's what I'm about, you know. Uh, next out are lemons. Because I really do enjoy myself lemon water, whether hot or cold. I really enjoy it either way. Um, juice, mandarin juice for my smoothies and typically for just... When I'm having dinner or whatever and I want to drink something um, that's not alcohol and that's not a fizzy drink, I typically go for the mandarin juice. Uh, nectarines, I haven't had nectarines in a while and this is my second favorite fruit. My first one is bananas. I really love bananas. Um, <clears throat> and bananas are really great for when you're sick. That's why I pick them up as well. They're great for energy, the energy boosters as well. So. I picked up nectarines because I haven't had these in a while. Uh, 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 oops, something broke in there. Picked up some grapes as well because I like to snack on fruits and I don't have any fruits in my fridge right now. No, I've got strawberries and blueberries. Yeah, I've got that. Bananas because I love bananas. And, uh, and then I popped into Mr. Price and I picked up uh, two of these because I just wanted two for uh, my bedroom Two pillar candles for my bedroom and then last thing from Woolies is the fruit selection This is the papaya and berry one and I really like this one. This one is my favorite one um, It's got a really nice selection of fruit in it. It's really good. I like that one. Oh, then I, oh, something is leaking. Shit, it's the fruit selection. Oh my God, so we need to eat this real quick. I think that's what, oh, yeah. Um, okay. And then I popped into Spar, the Spar by me, which is pretty much the best bar in the world. It really is. Popped in there for bread. Um, because I love my bread, you know I always take the Sasko Loji I cranberry bread uh, out of garlic and I cook garlic, I cook with garlic all the time, every single time I cook, I cook with garlic, so I had to pick up garlic. I do want to make sticky barbecue wings tonight, not sticky, but like barbecue wings for supper tonight with a salad, so it's going to be quick, I'm just going to yank them in the oven, marinate them, cover them up so they're nice and juicy and blah, blah, blah. I'll show you how I'm going to do all of that. Uh, so I got, I, I'm out of marinade, so I pretty much picked up the uh, grill basting from Spur. That's what I'm going to use. And I'm actually going to marinate them now um, and then prepare them at around 4 this afternoon. Um, picked up some peppers, robot peppers because I also cook with robot peppers all the time. And then the salad that I got, <clears throat> the salad that I got is this one. Uh, our spa has this really great uh, family salad bowl, or like I like to call it the three cheese salad bowl because it's got three different types of cheese. It's got feta, it's got gouda, and I think it's got cheddar in there. And uh, this is great, easy. I'm just gonna pull out, I'm gonna be eating this for the rest of the week. It is Tuesday. So I'm going to put it into a sealable container. It, it works in this one as well, but, you know, just so that it lasts and keeps for a while. Um, when I don't know what to eat and I don't feel like having fruits, a lot of the time I'll have coffee with a biscuit. And I'm out of biscuits, so I wanted to pick that up. I wanted to pick up food that's also going to, you know, inspire me and make me feel a little bit better about my sad-ass life right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we'll get onto the next portion of the vlog, which is me making something to eat, which is probably gonna be the fruit bowl, but we'll see how it goes, okay? Okay. You're not 
never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I'm needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. Get away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. So, it's a bit cloudy outside. Wild. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna rain. Uh, my nose is 10,000 times blocked. I don't know if it's gonna rain, but we'll see. Uh, so I was gonna go, I was gonna go with the fruit bowl, but to be honest, when I'm sick, I don't have much of an appetite. And even just the whole act and thought of chewing really annoys me. I feel like I don't want to. I, I don't even want to do that. So I do what I do best. This is something that I know will fill me up and it's right at the brim. So it's, it's, it's a full-on meal. Feel me? Uh, it'll fill, fill me up uh, so that I can take my medication. But before I start with the smoothie, I'm going to have a cold-pressed fiery ginger shot. This is from uh, Sir Juice. This is obviously going to help me. The ginger is going to do the Lord's work. <clears throat> Ooh. That really hits the back of your throat, but it's really good. I really enjoy this one over the I think Nature's Choice does one as well, but I really prefer this one. It's really good. I actually need to go pick up a couple of more of those. Um, but I've got three in the fridge, so one a day should be fine. Then I'm going to have this, and I'm going to just... <laughs> I'm going to rest a bit, unwind a bit, take my meds, maybe take a little bit of a nap. Um, then I will touch base. A little bit later when it's time to prepare the wings and all of that. I want to talk to you about what I'm reading currently. What I'm going to start reading today. Uh, but what, what I'm also reading. But 
that's fine that's fine it's a conversation for later for now i'm just gonna drink this i'm gonna put out the laundry um on the washing line it looks like it's gonna rain i don't know if that's a wise idea uh, let's see and yeah i'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna unwind up but i'll talk to you guys a little bit later okay later cheers cheers Bye. Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been... Yeah, yeah Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, do what, ne? In the streets, the see we get live. <laughs> Asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Now, uh, the reason why I covered the chicken in foil what you can do is just throw the whole thing in there and then wrap up the foil close it and then put it in the oven you can do it that way or you can layer on foil put the chicken in there and then cover it up again with foil and just make little holes at the top so that air can escape the reason why i did that is because um then it keeps the moisture so the, the 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 wings do not dry out which is not what i want this time around so it keeps the moisture and it makes them soft and um sticky barbecuey whatever to the touch as well so they're not they're still wet <laughs> And moist and not dry I hate that word but I'm sorry I'm trying to I'm trying to give off a certain impression right now so that you can make sense of what I'm saying so that's why you have to have them covered so you can take a big large um, uh, foil and then throw it all in there and then wrap up the foil close it put it on an oven tray and then put it in the oven you can do it that way as well it's like the um, the chicken in a bag kind of um, set up that they have in the malls from the Nors and all the all the spice brands and all of that and then what i did is i deliberately left a little bit of the marinade uh in the container so that as soon as they're done which should be in the next give or take oops give or take 15 minutes as soon as they're done then i'm going to drizzle this on at the very end as well and then Put them away they're nice they're moist they're great i'm sorry i'm gonna probably have them with that salad that i showed you earlier on if i don't i'm probably just might gonna just have the chicken like i roll like that sometimes i feel like i just want meat um so i'll decide i'll decide how i have it because my appetite is really not the best um yeah and this might then be this portion of the vlog today uh, what i am reading right now right what i am reading right now i am rereading uh roxanne gay's uh hunger this is her uh memoir of her body now this is a really really tough read but it's phenomenally written if there are authors that i really really appreciate their writing and their books more especially their mem memoirs 
is uh, Roxane Gay and um, Carmen Maria Machado. I really enjoy their books. And uh, Roxane Gay's Hunger is essentially a memoir on um, her life, her body, her relationship with food, and why she used food as a method of protecting herself from being harmed, especially by um, people of the opposite sex. Um, there's very triggering subjects in this. There's very triggering subjects when it comes to weight, when it comes to body image, when it comes to how society sees people who are overweight and um, 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 societal judgments, you know. The social commentary on this is beautiful, even though it is her memoir of her life, but also at the same time, it's really, really hard to read. And there are triggering subjects such as I'm going to write it down there. I'm not going to say the word, but such as, which is something that happened when she uh, was younger. And so she resorted to eating as a way to make herself bigger so that she is less attractive, so that she can protect herself from being harmed like that again. It's, 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 it's wild, but it's a beautiful 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 uh memoir of her life and i often gravitate to this when i am feeling some type of way about my body uh because as much as it's it's hard to read um but you you can also see the um, what it's taught her in the progression of her life as well um and it's just it's just whip smart. It's beautiful. It's an amazing, amazing memoir. And uh, for me, I, I read it a lot of the time when I've got um, just some body insecurities of which I'm feeling right now. I feel like I've mentioned, I've touched on this a little bit, uh, but maybe we might get into it in full detail maybe tomorrow or something. I don't want to talk about it today. Uh, but I have been, you know, having some drinks and uh, the boy and I eat out a lot all the time as well. So it's, I've been rather relaxed about my body and I don't have a problem with whatever size you are and body positivity and all of that. Me in particular, I want my body to look a certain way. And um, I've worked really hard to get my body to where it is right now that I would be very disappointed in myself. Personally, this is my story. Uh, I would be very disappointed in myself if I didn't, um, if I lost all of that by just losing my way and eating unhealthily and whatever. Already as it stands, because I'm not going to the gym and I don't really don't think I'll go to the gym for the rest of this year. Uh, already as it stands, I'm very lethargic. My body's always tired and all of that. And I don't like that. It makes me really feel uncomfortable, uh, but it is the end of the year and I'm trying to just not be hard on myself by going back to the gym. But I do, I am thinking of going back to the gym in December when everybody's just away. I wanna be there doing my doing my thing anyway so we'll talk about um all the body insecurities and all of that a little bit later on uh in this vlog and then the book that i do want to start reading 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 now is yagyasi's transcendent kingdom now i've read homegoing by yagyasi and i enjoyed it i didn't think it was great for a lot of people it's a great novel uh but for me it, it was just okay i think i rated it a three three and a half out of five um this one is one that i've been meaning to pick pick up and i watch um sharon um this is s sharon mundia from kenya i watch her and i follow her on instagram and i also follow her book club chasing paper paperbacks paper books i'm so sorry if i get it wrong i really do apologize but i do follow her book club with her friend patricia and they were reading this um last month i think and um i enjoy yagiasi's writing so i wanted to pick it up i don't know what it's about at all and i would rather go into this blind but i will start reading it tonight and then i'll get into it in the next portion of the vlog and we'll talk about it so this is uh my next read and i deliberately picked this one up because again it's a short read and because i'm trying to climb out of a reading slump i do not want to have a big book to read uh like 350 pages 400 pages i'm not trying to read something big this is like 240 pages so that's not bad at all 
um, yeah so I might start reading this one later on tonight I am gonna take a little bit of a nap now I didn't nap but it's a cold blah 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 and I put the meat in the oven and I can't nap when there's meat in the oven so I'm probably gonna take a nap as soon as I'm done with that um, and relax a little bit really craving iced coffee but I'm trying to stay away from cold drinks so instead of that I'm having a hot coffee so guess it'd be like that sometimes check in on you guys a little bit later when I pull the meat out it's really not an exciting dish I haven't had the time to even look up or try out new just dishes Vlogtober has kept me so busy and I know that you guys want to see uh, what I eat in a day's contents like that and I, I'm working on it I just need you guys to give me a little bit of time okay give me a little bit of time it's a lot trying to work and also get back to work and also be sick and then also do vlogtober and then also do other stuff you know and then and then still try to live your life at the same time it's a little bit of a lot to do um, all at once so be patient with me okay and uh, yeah I'll check in on you guys a little bit later <laughs> my nose is blocked okay bye you always make me feel like okay you never leave my thoughts alone yeah you you're the reason i'm going out of my i just can't stop thinking about yeah morning time good morning everybody i was watching a youtube video downstairs good morning everybody um whew, i just ran up the stairs whew, it's a good proof that i've gained i've gained a kilo and a half anyway good morning everybody um this is just a quick one because i am on my way out my neighbor's dog i am on my way out to work and um, it's the next day after the footage that you last saw. I am making my way out now. It is around half past seven to eight. I don't know what time it is to eight. I think it's eight o'clock. I'm making my way out to work. I'm going to be there for half the day today. And then when I come back, we're going to have a chat because, um, I did say that I wanted this video to be about, uh, I want us to talk about you know body positivity and all of that so that's the chat we're gonna have but definitely when I come back from work um, should be at work till about 2 and then I will come back home Whew. my heart is racing because I ran up the stairs and chair and we will talk a little bit later okay all right have a nice day Yeah, <laughs> 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 